Hey guys, welcome to another week of outfits. Uh, so today is Monday and it is the most brilliantly beautiful day. It's like right around 70 degrees. So it's been really nice to just enjoy it in the middle of winter uh, because we've had a lot of like colder days, not necessarily extremely cold, but you know, we'd see in high of like maybe 30 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, like right now, we just were able to go out and have lunch on our porch and we did go get coffee and then later I'll be doing my voice lessons. If you want to know more about my voice lessons, I just taped a podcast and you guys can see that um, here on YouTube. So for today, I just wanted something that would be sort of warm and breezy to celebrate the weather. And then also, I just wanted to put together something that was a little bit more feminine because I can't even think about the last time that I wore a skirt. So today I'm wearing my bell skirt from Elizabeth Suzanne in silk and it's the same length as the cardigan that I'm wearing. This one's from Mango um, and I think I've also, uh, Uniqlo has a really good one as well. But since it's sort of entering into spring soon, I don't know how many I'll find exact ones of. So um, I'll link everything down below and similar ones if they're not available right now um, in the exact company. And then for the top, uh, this one is actually a crop top and it goes right where the, the skirt starts. This is a really high-waisted skirt with an elastic waistband. Um, so that just kind of like, it's not much skin showing, but it's just enough to be a little bit flirty and stuff like that. Uh, so that is a really cute little spaghetti top that I have with it. And then I also am going to add just, you know, my everyday jewelry and my everyday bag. So. For jewelry, I've got my Pamela Card necklace along with a short little necklace that I really like to wear all day even when I'm working out. And that one is from Etsy. I can link you guys to that uh, directly. And then also, uh, my bag today is going to be my everyday test bag. Somebody asked me if it scratches easily. I've had this since around September and it hasn't scratched hardly at all. There was one time in a really intense movie that I scratched it a little bit with my fingernail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 1917 was a really good movie by the way and I definitely would say to go see it but I should have put my purse down because I was like <laughs> gripping it um, but I like how it matches my outfit a lot with the black jewelry or with the black outfit and then with the jewelry and then also for my shoes I didn't want to just go with straight black like from head to toe so I ended up wearing um, my mango boots these ones you guys have heard me talk about at length I think they're matching so many of my outfits I almost wear them too much and I wish that I need to like think about my other shoes and <laughs> start wearing those but I do like that they are more skin toned and today I'm just gonna be wearing them with my black leggings um, these are actually just like tights like opaque tights so I can link you guys to those and then from head to toe I've got like this black outfit but then it goes to these shoes so that kind of makes the shoes stand out a little bit too and that's really fun so that is Monday's outfit, something that's really feminine and flowy and breezy and something I can just wear and celebrate this warm weather. So I'm actually a day ahead. Right now it's Wednesday, but first I wanted to talk through Tuesday's outfit. I threw it back on and um, just briefly what the weather was like. It was a lot like today where it's rainy, a little bit drizzly though, like not a hard rain, and it was mild. So it was a really lovely day to just, you know, I went and I sat down got coffee. I was gonna meet a friend, we got our wires crossed, and I think we're gonna meet up again on Friday. Um, but anyways, I loved to be able to wear this outfit. I loved the way that it all came together. This is a teddy sweater um, that is so comfortable from Everlane. I've been wearing that like I've been living in it and it's been so comfortable. So underneath this jacket, I wanted just something that would kind of keep me a little bit warmer. For the jacket itself, this one is a Prada jacket and I'm just like, I just love that. It was one of those pieces that I really had my heart set on and um, I actually got it um, secondhand. So I did a whole video about that a while back if you want more info on it. But for my baseball cap, I wanted to um, have something that would keep me out of the rain since it wasn't like too much of a rain but then also this just kind of keeps all the rain out of my face more than other hats like a hood or a beanie would so that really works out well i uh for my pants i'm just wearing jeans these ones are some old pairs from like and other stories and i can link you guys to some similar but um yeah they were just the perfect pair of jeans and i ended up keeping them for years i got them hemmed too so i've got that 
hemmed up to be just above my ankle and it really showcases some boots like these. These are some really old Timberland boots um, that I got from like 2016. They are very weather resistant so that's why I went ahead and wore those. I had some others in mind but because of the weather I had to make some adjustments. And then for my purse I have just my everyday test bag. Um, I love to wear that underneath so a lot of times I'll just like slip that on like this and then throw the jacket back on and it really makes for I don't know it's a little bit it's a little bit um, easier to wear I would say because then I'm just protecting my bag from the elements and then um, it is just a little bit easier to carry around versus like where do I hang my purse and like all that stuff so that was my look for uh, yesterday and then I've just got my everyday jewelry on and I was out the door and for today, I'm just going to be in my house doing taxes, so it's really exciting. <laughs> um, but I wanted something I'd be comfortable in, and then I know I'm going to be sitting at my desk a lot. Um, so corduroy stretches a little bit, and that's going to be really nice for just like staying seated and all that. Um, and then today, I also decided to wear a newer top to me. This one is from Free People, and I've always loved a scoop neck, so this one's like a really flirty one um, for sure. And it actually is a cardigan. It's got little hooks all the way Way up and down it that I could transform into that if I wanted to have it just layering over something else um, and then also I've got just some really tall boots on you guys know anytime that I'm sitting down um, generally speaking I like to wear something that has a little bit of a heel just because it props up my knees a little bit and it's just so much more comfortable to sit down for a long period of time um, and then also just having this neckline is going to really show off my jewelry. And then the sleeves are not necessarily full length. They're like cropped up a little bit. So that is why I've also got my, um, I've just been honestly wearing my bracelet like every day. Uh, it just is that one statement bracelet that I think, you know, it matches so many things. I can wear it with, you know, sort of sweatshirts or whatever. I've worn it with that. Um, and then today wearing it some with something that's a little bit more feminine is fun too. As for the pants, these are Jessie Cam Corduroy. I think I got these in 2018 in her fall collection. So I will definitely try to find something similar to these that I can link you guys to. And then for the shoes, um, I, these ones are from Cezanne. They have really carried me through fall and winter and they work for days where it's either drizzling or I'm not going outside or it's dry outside. So if it was raining and I was walking out a lot more like I did yesterday, I totally would skip these ones. Um, but I do love them and just having that little like extra personality of having the crocodile print is lovely. On to Thursday. Today I have to go to the dentist and I am so dreading it. I think I've got some bad news about one of my teeth. <laughs> And so I'm just slightly terrified uh, this time to go. So I wanted to be able to dress in something that was definitely put together and chic and classy, but also extremely um, comfort comforting at least, not even just comfortable, but like consoling. <laughs> so I've got some Elizabeth Suzanne um, linen trousers. They are essentially pajamas I can wear in public. And then for my top, I've got a cropped sweatshirt. This is from Cotton, K-O-T-N, and it's a really lovely Egyptian cotton brand. Um, they have a really unique and cool story as well. And then for my jacket, this is from Cezanne. I got it around fall, and it was just a lovely um, jacket. I think it's called... I want to say it's the Mike jacket, but I'll be sure to link it down below. And I think they still are selling this one too, so that would be awesome. I love the unique buttons on it as well. They didn't do anything that was like em too embellished like they normally do, but they are large and oversized buttons that carry all the way through the jacket. And I was just really drawn to it. Um, it is something that's not necessarily my warmest coat, but it is uh, thick as far as the fabric is concerned. The layer, the one layer of fabric is really thick and then the lining is soft. It seems something that's not so silky or uh, synthetic, but something a lot warmer. So um, altogether, this is gonna work for today's weather too. I've got around a high of like 40 today, a little bit chilly and a little bit drizzly again. We've just got a lot of rain here lately. Um, but I am not really concerned about wearing my boots again today. These are my black Croco boots from Cezanne. And I love the idea of wearing Cezanne boots in a Cezanne jacket because then the rest of the outfit could be whatever I wanted it to be and it would look put together. 
Uh, for jewelry, I've just got a couple of short necklaces here. Um, this one is a really simple chain, and then I think that one's actually from Majuri, if I'm right. And then this one is a Pamela Card necklace. And then I've just got a few rings today, um, my typical ones that I wear in representing my wedding band. Um, I've got my regular wedding band like tucked away and safe, but this is something I wear daily. And then here I've got a couple of rings that are just simple. I wanted to emphasize the black stripe of this ring that kind of mimics the pattern on here. It's not a stripe, but it's a lovely hound's tooth. So I've got that going on and just a very minimal and simple ring from Vray. Um, so yeah, it might be Vray. <laughs> For accessories, I've got a couple pieces. The first one is my scarf. So because it is a little bit chillier out today, I wanted to just be able to have something that I could wear even like in the dentist chair. <laughs> so that's gonna be really lovely to be able to just kind of cozy up to it. And then I like having it right at the length of the jacket and then spinning it around once and letting this be up a little higher. So that's kind of my intention there. I also like that I wanted to have like sort of more wild hair today, but having it tucked under everything sort of calms it down. <laughs> so that's my intention there. And then I've just got my everyday bag and that's gonna really elevate the style of the rest of the outfit. Today is our first snow day that we've had in a while. So today is Friday and it's a high of maybe around like 35. So the snow's just starting to melt. Um, it was been a really lovely day though. It started snowing last night and into this morning. And I went and I got some coffee with my friend Lindsay and we went to barista parlor and just had a lovely little, I had an Irish coffee. <laughs> it was really fun to just have like a little spritz of something special in my coffee this morning and to just have sort of a relaxing snow day today. And Zach and I also ran and got some donuts. So um, throwing any sort of healthy eating out the window today. Last night I had a lovely dinner uh, with my friend Katie and got some wine there as well. So I've just been having lots of fun. Also celebrating the fact that everything was fine with my dentist appointment, by the way. No cavities. So um, yeah, just I'm enjoying this week. It's been a really lovely week and to have just a lovely little snowfall today was really unexpected. For my outfit, I wanted to layer a bunch of different winter pieces. The first piece that I have on today is my beanie. Um, this beanie, I can link you guys to the exact one that I found on Amazon. Um, it was pretty affordable and I do like the fit of it. I tried a bunch of different ones and this was the one that I ended up sticking with because I like the fit of it a lot. I like that it's a little bit more oversized. I prefer that to the smaller beanies. It also is ribbed, so it has more of a higher end feel to that. Um, and then it's also just gonna work for days where I'm not feeling great about my hair. <laughs> so for my top, I've got my turtleneck. This is the micro rib turtleneck from Everlane in a color that is this like heathered gray. I like that to layer on my jewelry with it as well. So this one is from Pamela Card. Um, Pamela Card for the snake chain. And then I've got that little tiny um, gold necklace that I had on yesterday. That's there today. Uh, for my pants, these were ones that I was on the fence about wearing for a day where there's like snow and everything's sort of like melting and it might be a little bit iffy, but I loved the look of it with this outfit. Um, I like that they're high waisted. Uh, did I mention they're from And Other Stories? And then also I wanted to just roll them up. I like the length of them long, but it just sort of worked for keeping them clean today to roll them up a bit. And then I've got my Timberland boots on um, from earlier this week. It allowed me to be able to have my high boots, um, something that was weather resistant. And just having that like um, black color on my footwear will really mix in with my other elements of my outfit. The first piece I had to wear today for an accessory <laughs> is this lovely scarf. This one's from Everlane. Um, it's my blanket scarf. 
and it works so well if it's a day where I just want to be cozy. It works well even just to sit in a coffee shop without a, a jacket on at first and just have this like wrapped around me. It was very comfortable. Um, this also works if you are going to see a movie or if you're going to be lounging around at all. This blanket scarf is just my absolute favorite. You'll never guess which bag I chose to wear today. <laughs> um, this is my test bag. And so that just looks lovely thrown over my shoulder like that. I also really prefer to have a crossbody bag if I'm gonna be in public and possibly not paying attention to where my purse is at the moment. I just feel more comfortable knowing where my purse is and it's just easier to grab something out of it this way. For my jacket, I went with this one. I wanted to go with a black jacket but I ended up wearing something like this um, just because it looks a little bit more flawless in person than having you know, a black wool coat that might show little fuzzes or whatever. Um, so I ended up wearing this charcoal gray, and it's sort of a nod to the gray underneath it. Um, it's a darker tone, so it sort of blends in with my boots, and then it also highlights the lighter colors underneath. So that was sort of my thinking there. There's so many ways where I could wear this with my scarf. My preference is to sort of just pop the collar of my jacket a little bit, and then let this scarf be underneath that. And that's just going to add to the style a lot more. It won't look quite as, you know, frumpy or overwhelming. And this is a very like all weather, like any sort of cold weather outfit. I would be fine to wear this if I was visiting family in Wisconsin, New York, whatever. But it also works for layering for a day like today, um, a colder day here in Nashville. So that was my outfit for Friday. And um, I suppose I will see you guys next time I throw together one of these Outfit of the Week videos. I also have some other videos planned in between the two. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope that it's kind of interesting to hear about what I would wear for practical reasons every day. That's my hope and goal with these. And I'll see you guys next time.